It's Mr. Grabo, and we are going to be tackling Go Math 4th grade, lesson 4.5. And this lesson is estimating quotients using compatible numbers. So this, this is not the easiest lesson, especially for the students that don't know their multiplication facts, that are struggling with their multiples. So I'll do my best to kind of go through it slowly um, so it'll make sense as we estimate um, quotients. So remember that compatible numbers are numbers that are easy to compute mentally. And in this lesson, we're really going to focus on identifying those multiples. We did this a couple of lessons ago where we um, wrote down the multiples. And we're going to do that same type of thing. And we're going to combine it with our knowledge from yesterday's lesson um, to help us estimate. So I'm going to kind of go through um, this reteach page with you. And um, so it kind of starts us off with this problem right here. 216 divided by 6. So we're going to estimate. Now the first step is to list the multiples of 6. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54. Um, we can even have 60 and then 66 and even 72, right? So, when we look here, I'm going to um, think of the multiples that are close to the first two digits here. Since we're estimating, we're going to see that eight, um, 18 and 24 are in between that 21. So it would be 18 tens or 24 tens. It's pretty close to 21 tens. So we're going to use these numbers. So I could round... I could estimate 216 to 180, or I could estimate 216 to 240, okay? So my estimate is going to be between 30 and 40. So which one's closer? 40, right? Because um, it's only 24 away from 2. 216. So this is this is a lot. This isn't going to be something that's going to be super easy for us. So we'll, we're going to do a couple of problems together. All right. So let's take a look here at number one, and I'll put it on a blank piece of paper for us to take a look at. So remember, we are going to be estimating using compatible numbers. Okay. So the first step is for you to write down this problem but the next step is to write down the multiples of three so we have our chart here and we can start off with that zero because anything times zero is zero just as a reminder so now we can walk write out our multiples of three and this is an important step um, as we do this because um, it makes it visually easy. And I know you guys could use your multiplication charts, but I want you to write it down. I want to see that work. All right, so since we're estimating here, we're going to see which num where is 25. So it's right here. And when we look at 252, I see the 25 tens. So that's, of course, important to remember. So, how many threes would fit into um, 24 tens, right? So I can rewrite our problem as 24 tens divided by 3, or I could rewrite it as 27 tens divided by 2. Right, so there's my facts. Since I'm estimating, I know that three fits in twenty-four times eight times, so eight times, and this would be nine times. Well, twenty-five is twenty-five times is way closer to twenty-four times. So my best estimate is right here. It's about eighty. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. 
Let's take a look at number three here. So, um, actually, let's skip that one for now. Let's go to number four here. We'll come back to number three. Let's take a look at number four here. And remember, we are estimating. So, I want to know about how many fives will fit into 314 using compatible numbers. So, I'm going to write out my multiples of five. And I'd like to start with zero. Just as I remember, anything times zero is zero. So I guess technically it's not really a multiple of five, but it's good practice. So we're going to write out our multiples of five until we get to 30, 35, right? Um, because I'm looking at 31 tenths here. All right, so I'm good. Make sure that you're precise with your multiplication facts, with your multiples here. And 31 times is going to be in between here, All right? So I can rewrite. I can rewrite my division problems as 30 times divided by five, or 35 times divided by five, All right? I know that six tens here, and then seven tens here. Well, what's my better estimate? Well, 31 tens is definitely closer to 30 tens, so my better estimate is 60. About 60 fives is going to fit into 314. So this is that about. So this is that estimating. And... This is an important skill estimating to make sure that you are on the right track. Um, this would be, we use estimating a lot in our daily lives. So this is an important thing and it's always good to review our multiples. Let's take a look at one more problem. Um, and this problem is number three. And I wanna take a look at this problem um, to make sure that you can transfer it over when we are um, talking about numbers in the thousands place. So it's the same type of problem. We're just going to use different language when we're talking about a place one. So our problem reads this, 2,545 divided by 4. So same thing. We're going to focus on the first two digits, that 25. Um, and we're going to write out our multiples of 4. So we'll do 0, 0, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. And I know I was going a little quick there with my fours, but I think that if you take your time, you'll be just as accurate. And you notice that I stop here, right? Because 25 is in between. So it's 2,500 divided by, whoops, not 2,500. It would be 2,400 divided by 4 or 2,800. So we're using these compatible numbers because um, the idea is you know your multiples. So we'll be able to fit these fours in kind of easily. Um, so it would, uh, 24 divided by 4 is 600. 2,800 divided by 4 would be 700. Well, what's my better estimate here? Well, 25 is in the hundreds place, right? That's really close to the 2,400. So this right here is 600 is my better estimate. It, it's definitely closer. So as we work today through compatible numbers, remember, make sure that you show your work. Um, all right. And make sure that you are listing out your multiples. Let's do one more problem together, and we're going to do this problem. Um, right here. Let's do problem five, all right? 
So use compatible numbers to find two estimates that the quotient is in between. So we have to rewrite our problem. 5,361 divided by 6. So really, I'm going to focus on the first two digits here. And the first step is to list out our multiples. So always, I always start with 0. It's that constant reminder that anything times 0 is 0. Now, as we are doing this, um, counting by sixes is not very easy, writing out these multiples. So make sure that you are being precise. Make sure that you are counting because we're going to go all the way up um, to find the multiples in between 53. Well, 53 would be between the multiples. So even though it's kind of redundant to keep writing here, um, it is a good... Um, a good thing to do. All right, got it. So it's going to be 53 falls in between, right? So it's 5,300. So our, we can rewrite our two problems as 4,800 divided by 6 or 5,400 divided by 6. Well, pay attention to our multiples here. 6 times what would equal 4,800? Well, 6 times 800 would equal 4,800. And then 6 times what would equal 5,400? 6 times 900 equals 5,400. So my estimate is between 800 and 900. Uh, problem five here doesn't ask for the, ex um, you know, which one you would actually use. But when I look here at 5,300, uh, way closer to 54. So I would use this one. So my best estimate would be 900. 900 times 6 is about 5,361. So this is, this is a tough a tough concept because we really struggle with our multiples um, but when we're doing when we are solving division problems make sure that we are always lining up our place values and make sure that you're emphasizing place value and like always make sure that you are accurate when you're coming up with your multiples I hope that this helped you let me know if you have questions